Welcome to our lecture online and here our next assignment is to find the amplitude, the period of the function that's given here and then to sketch it. So the amplitude is fairly straightforward, it's the number in front. Now notice there's a negative in front of that. So the negative simply flips the equation around so the amplitude is still the number here, 3, except that it would be drawn instead of starting upward it would be drawn starting downward. So the amplitude, A, is equal to 3. What about the period? the period is equal to question mark. Well, let's go over here. The number in front of the x is called the period factor. It determines how many periods per 2 pi on the x-axis. So another way to think about it is that the period can be found by taking 2 pi divided by b. So in this case, b is equal to 3, so this would be 2 pi divided by 3, and that would be the period. So the period is equal to 2 pi divided by 3, which means that every 2 pi divided by 3, it goes to one complete cycle, one complete wave of the drawing. So now we're ready to sketch it. So here we have the y-axis, we have the x-axis. Notice we're trying to draw the sign, but it's the negative sign, and the amplitude is 3. So negative means instead of starting upward, we start downward. So it's going to look like this. Notice it does one complete period in 2 pi over 3 distance. So that's be 2 pi over 3. And then we have one other complete period. That would be 4 pi over 3. And if we do another one, we can continue on like this. And here this would be 6 pi over 3, which is equal to 2 pi. So you can see it has three complete periods in a 2 pi distance on the x-axis. So that, that's what this 3 signifies. The amplitude 3 is right here. And of course, the negative means that instead of going upward, the sine function normal would be drawn like this. But we simply flip the equation around or flip the, uh, draw the sketch around. And we start downward instead of upward. And that accounts for the negative. And that's how we do that.